Okay, so to disconnect the motor out of the fog box, the first step you have to do is to remove the each shrink over the each motor lead. To do so, you just go slowly with a precision knife because you don't want to remove the back, the two back layer of a shrink. So just going slowly and carefully and then you can remove, peel off the first layer. There you go. As you can see here, I've gone too far and I've a bit of a damage of the, uh, a bit damaged the other shrink. That's okay, the shrink is still there. We'll, we'll have to put some tape over it after or if you have uh, yourself some shrink, you can put some shrink over here. I, I suggest, I highly recommend to put shrink or also, or even tape because tape is gonna be able to just give a bit more restraint to the connection. So now I'm just gonna remove the two, the two others. So this is for remove unplugging the motors. Well, you will be ready to plug it back. I'm just gonna show you the order. So here we go. One, two. Going slowly here. So it's fine. Usually, I do recommend to use a precision knife like this with a brand new blade. So now I remove. The, the motor, if you, if you have like some issue uh, like with the connectors and you feel a bit like stuck inside, you can always remove the, the little, uh, the little gourmet, the, the, this here, this little thing on the motors. I don't know if the motors Alex send you have those. If they don't, you have to put them from, remove them from the other motors that you're gonna remove and put them on the new. So uh, it's pretty much simple. So you just have to remove, remove them like this. Just be careful with the little sense connector. You should want to always go its own way. So if you want to put it back, you just you can bend it a little bit like this, and you just press it. Uh, it should go on the top, and you just have to. For these three, the trick is to get them. As close as you can together, push them inside. Might be a little bit of challenge sometime. You have to maybe put, uh, you know, go one cable at a time. But here we go. And once it's on the shrink, make sure you have like about like a, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch, uh, or a bit, a bit more than a quarter of an inch over, and at least a good half an inch uh, in the back. So this is how you put the those on the motors once you go back and connect the motors as you can see i usually i leave the motors not you know this is the last step i do is to push this uh, little thing back so I'm just gonna put the motors for the orders and this is like one of the the important thing of that video for the orders to put the motors it's uh the first one is blue orange yellow and you go on the other side it's reverse it's yellow orange blue so I, I do repeat because someone is making a bit of noise behind me it's blue orange yellow yellow orange blue and once the two motors are once all the six phase are plug in place you could just plug uh, the, the two sends cable back in place so this is pretty much what the, the, the mechanical stuff we have to do. And then we'll go uh, with a computer and program the ESC for the motors you have, for the new motors, because uh, these, these ESC has to be calibrated with the motor to make sure that everything works fine. Thank you.